Hello, everybody. It's that time. <laughs> Welcome to the Emily Pearl Show. You are live uh, watching, and we thank you so much for coming in. I'm trying to. Oh, um, yeah, it's got welcome to the show. Okay, great. But I was going to type it in so that I'll let you guys know who the guest is. But you're going to know anyway. We're going to put it across the screen. So thank you so much for joining in, audience. And I'm happy today because, um, oh, I had some good things happen to me this week. I got, I finally got my um, correct washer and with spin dry sent to me <laughs> i mean you know it came in because i the first one that came i had to take it back so i reordered the correct one hey sandra you are in the house say girl you're in there four times all right and um so that happened i was really happy it came it was supposed to be delivered thursday it came wednesday instead and then the other thing the thing is i picked up my nebulizer my doctor ordered me a nebulizer I picked it up today, so I'm happy. Yes. So let me see what the rest of the team is up to and how they're feeling. Uh, I was looking for Sybil. I used to introduce her first. She was the original co-host of the show, but she hasn't made it in yet. So I will check in with her later and see what difficulty she's having. Okay. Uh, so for right now, we'll start then with the heartbeat of the South. My son, Tim Harrington. Hey, Tim. Hey, hey, Mom. How's everybody doing? Everything's going good. How are you feeling today? Good, yeah, good. All right, then. And uh, we got, of course, Ziggy. He was in. He was so anxious to get into the show. He was in early. Hey, Ziggy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, James, sweetheart. James, hey, Ziggy. Hi, handsome. Ziggler. All right. Happy to have you tonight, James. Thank and you. Then, Glad to be here. All right. How'd your day go today? It went pretty good. Okay. So you're happy too, right? I was excited to hear about our new guests. Uh, oh, yeah. Me too. Sandra is watching us on YouTube. Thank you, Sandra. Sandra, you got a lot of people watching this. <laughs> and then we got Judy. Hey, Jules. How are you doing? <laughs> Imagine that, that. That is James other half <laughs> a better half right yes better the best half hi jills thanks for joining us all right but y'all know on friday nights we can't do it without her we made it without her in politics last night but we can't do it without her on friday nights <laughs> hi Kathy. how are you doing Kathy, Kathy cc carlson right. Hey, hey. all right all right here she is she finally made it the co-host of the most is Sybil Marie Presley. Hi, Sybil. Hey, I was already in, but I just didn't see me. And so I, okay. I exited out and came back in again. So I don't oh, know what. Well, we didn't see you in the studio. I saw y'all, though. Okay. Well, hello, yeah. everybody. I am here. Okay. Well, you weren't showing up. I'm showing up now. So great. that's the main so, thing. Great to see you. So how are you doing? How's your day been going? All right. Um, I went ahead and uh, cooked me a feast. You know, I can eat a way a week of it. So I made some of the best and, um, Italian cut string beans with little boiled potatoes in it and a homemade delicious banana pudding. So I started my celebration today. You know, Wednesday's my birthday. It is. Uh -huh. And uh, the Thursday is Trish's birthday on Thanksgiving. So we're going to go to Perkins and have a free uh, Thanksgiving breakfast together, celebrate our birthday. Uh -huh. And then me and you and everybody will get together after the holidays. Okay. Not after the holidays. You mean just after Thanksgiving? Because, you know, you don't mean after Christmas. You mean after Thanksgiving, right? After Thanksgiving. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I meant Thanksgiving holidays. Uh -huh. Okay, great. You know, we'll get together on what Sunday to, to do that with. All righty then. And so that brings so, me up to date. 
Oh, excellent. You had a good day too. So I'm so happy that everybody had a good day today. And Kathy, we have a very, very special guest that we've been waiting on for four, three months or so. So tell us who that is. Okay. It's my pleasure to introduce John Heinrich. And he's <laughs> from Nashville. Yep. So. Hey, hey, Hello. John. Hey, Hello, John. everybody. Hello. 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 How are you doing? Um, I'm doing so, good as long as it doesn't snow. <laughs> as long as it doesn't snow. Okay, I'm gonna say I'm trying to move you around where it doesn't show twice everybody. Oh, okay. There you go. I'll put you there over there by you. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Put you over there yeah. by your by your saxophone. <laughs> yep, by my saxophone and by my boss. Yeah, all right. That looks like you, a winner. You can't move me where James is, can you? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. And you after the show, we're going to several of the. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, I can smell that banana pudding through the screen. I tell you, because Sybil, Sybil makes that old-fashioned homemade banana pudding. And I've, I've oh, had yeah, it. it's delicious. I've had it, and it is delicious. <laughs> there, anybody out there want some banana pudding, Sandra, Judy? Y'all want some banana pudding? <laughs> I do. I know, right? <laughs> okay, so we're going to take a break when we come back. Kathy will tell us all about our special guest. And guess what? Y'all will get a chance to see him performing because we have some videos of him doing just that. <laughs> all right. So y'all stick with us. Don't go away. Stick and stay. And we'll be back. So, awesome sax player. Oh, thank Sybil. you. <laughs> Sybil, I got a surprise for you. Watch this commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> Going in for right now. It's garden good. Bro, it's time. It's time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, if y'all like avocado spinach dip, that is one of our local Memphis chef companies and starring in his commercial is my son, the heartbeat of the South, Tim Harrington, <laughs> the co-host is of the Moses, Sybil Marie Presley, and of course myself running in the pink dress with my cane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was so funny. That, that's the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> that is a surprise. Thank you. All right. All right. So, Kathy, begin to tell us about our special guest. Okay. Well, John was born in Poughkeepsie, New York. And um, as a matter of fact, James was talking some New York talk with um, John today. And um, then he ended up moving to Lexington, Kentucky with his parents. And that's when he got his first guitar in 1964. So really? can you tell us a little bit, John, about your Kentucky days? Wow. Well, like we moved there in 1957. Of course, my dad was with I'm being moved, IBM. And we were. <laughs> wow. Uh, the early days, uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I. I thought I was going to be a lead guitar player, but I, I, I got, I felt like I got bumped into being a bass player, but I, I, I liked it after a while. So I became a bass player and I, and I played bass all through the sixties really. in in when I was in Kentucky, but uh, yeah. I, I love me some bass guitar, man. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be it. A song is not anything without some bass to me. That's right. That's exactly <laughs> it. Gotta have bass. 
Yeah, right. and then and then John, you started with the lap, uh, the lap uh, steel, right? Lap steel. That's right. Uh huh. And then um, let's see now. And so you listen to as much steel as possible. It says here. And then you, um, some of your influences were like Don Helms, Buddy Charlton, and of course the master being you said commercial, Mr. Pete. Can you talk a little bit about how they inspired you? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, during that time, I, I was trying to pick up an out. Well, let me let me back that up a little bit. I was taking steel guitar lessons, and uh, I took two lessons and, and on the second lesson I said I asked the guy well uh, can you show me something or should I play something for you and he said nope that's it <laughs> you're on your own now <laughs> so anyway I mean I picked a lot of that stuff up by watching other people on TV and and uh, I got buddy Charlton I bought some albums that were that he had played on with the Ernest Tubb the Ernest Tubb uh, uh, band and Pete Drake, he played on, on a, a lot of different people's albums. Uh, Bob Dylan, people like that, uh, Tammy Wynette. And I, I was listening to a lot of that stuff during that time. And, and I just really liked what he was doing. I mean, he, he was really great. Uh, another one was, was uh, uh, Buddy, Buddy Emmons, of course. I mean, he's the, he's the master. Uh, he helped invent the pedal steel. Uh, Don Helms was the steel guitar player for Hank Sr. And he he was one of the nicest people I've ever met. Uh, I got I got my name in his book. <laughs> uh, I, I can't remember the name of the book right now. I wish I had it in front of me. Uh, Setting the Woods on Fire. Yeah, because that's a, that's a phrase out of Hank Sr.'s, Hank Williams Sr.'s songs. And uh, that's pretty much how it happened. I mean, it, it just you just have to dive in, you have, and you have to try to get as much stuff that's not available. You know, I mean, you have to go after it. Well, we got a message down here from Front Page that says, "I'm mean, I like this one." Says you were a horn section leader and sax player for Percy Sledge. Yeah, December wow. 2009. I love me some Percy Sledge. Me oh, I too. too. Oh, I couldn't believe it when when that happened. I mean, I I wrote. They they sent me all the uh, the inf all the information and the music because I had to write the the, uh, the horn charts out for trumpet, uh, trombone, and then tenor saxophone. I've still got the charts. I'm not, I not. wrote 42 different charts within three days. Wow. Uh, yeah, they just. I just listened to the records and, and charted it out myself. But when we did the, when we did the, uh, I did two two shows with uh, Percy, and I'm thinking those were the last two. Uh, I wrote real close to the last shows that he would ever did. But anyway, he was a really nice person, mm -hmm. and he and he could sing great. And I told the other guys, I said, uh, I wish I, I could play saxophone the way he's singing. It was so great. What was your favorite song that he did? Well, he did a lot of songs that I had never heard. Uh, of course, I, I really loved, as did a lot of people, uh, what was that hit song, uh, When a Man Loves a Woman? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's my favorite. Awesome song. That's but my favorite. He, yeah. <laughs> and he did it, man. I mean, he he sang it. But I mean, it just sounded great. Yeah, uh, he sang it with soul for sure. He sure was. I mean, and the people they loved it. They just loved him. All right. Well, let's watch one of your videos, and then you can tell us all about it after we watch it. We got them loaded up to the studio. Okay. And they're not in any particular order. Uh, so I'm just going to start with, I think this was the last one of that, uh, maybe, maybe the latest one that you did, maybe, but let's see. Okay. Storm of time. 
time I know you've seen those very places See them run into the sky That draws the line on many faces Touch the ring of purple light It cuts into our limitations Be the roses of the crown They crash above the highest traces Held it in my hand Of morning clouds and lavish amber And it spoke to me while streaming Through a one-way door of mine In the light of dreams they scream Across the room of chartreuse laces when the light went through my soul I felt its birth and I knew the sign Leap into the storm of time I know you've seen those very places See them run into the sky It was so long ago Touch the ring of purple light It cuts in to our limitations Be the roses of the crown They crash above the highest traces Of chartreuse laces Then the light went through my soul I felt its birth and I knew the sign Keep a smile inside of you I know you come to see three faces See the morning to the sky It was so long ago <laughs> that was something I heard kind of Beatles style in there and were you singing wow you, you got that Beatles style singing British too thank you thank thank you yeah I guess I was really in, inspired by them for sure definitely for sure <laughs> I, mean, I heard it I heard it in the style. Uh -huh. yeah so <laughs> what where, where was that um when was that done and uh where was it done Oh, wow. Well, I mean, that was done here in Nashville, Tennessee, and, and a lot of the live stuff was downtown and, and around where the courthouse is, where the federal courthouse is, because uh, th they've got a big yard there, and they've got a couple of towers that you could go up in, so we, we shot a lot around there. Uh, and as far as as far back, I'm trying to think how far back it was that we did that. Mm -hmm. That must have been like um, 2000, da, 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 maybe 2000. Eight or nine, possibly. Okay. All right. 
uh, yeah. that was that was shot in. A, actually, I was in that studio today. That's where, where, where they shot the live stuff. Uh, uh -huh. But that guy did a good. He did a good good job. I, I told him basically just basically what I wanted. And I wanted to mix live with studio, and and he did it. It yeah, came I'll off really you, good. <laughs> that was really great, I'll tell you. Thank but, you. Yeah, it was. Was that an Apple phone or a Gibson? Uh, the, who, which which guitar? The, one of them looked like a the, Gibson, the bass player. The lead. The lead. I think he had a Strat. I'm not sure. I think that was a Fender. I'm not sure. I'd, I'd have to see it again. <laughs> it looked All like right. a Gibson. Uh-huh. It could have right. been. Well, we got a note on the screen that says that you played sax on DJ Fontana's Elvis Presley's drummer. Yeah. New, pro mm -hmm. new project. Tell us about that. You know, Elvis is here in our hometown where Sybil and I live. Wow. Well, there, there again, uh, he, he, that was that was he was a really nice person, uh, and I had no idea because you never know when you walk in the studio what what's going to happen. Whether there's going to be a lot of pressure or. Somebody's got an attitude or something like that, but he had zero attitude. Uh, we, I did two different CD projects with him, and uh, they both came out great. Uh, and of course, I mean, I've I've still got my my copies, and I I'll, I'll always keep them. But he well, was he right. was great. Yeah. And, and uh, what did you uh, record? That were y'all playing? Uh, we recorded it actually. If I remember correctly, we, we recorded at the same studio that you just saw the, the video in. But there, the first one, I'm trying to think. I think we played, we we recorded that somewhere else. Might have been at the sound shop. But I'm not sure. Oh, the sound studio here in Memphis. No, 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 uh, no the, the sound, sound shop. Sound oh, shop, okay. yeah, in in, in Nashville. Uh -huh. In Nashville, okay. All right, front page says that you played sex on session for legendary producer Jack Clement, Jerry Lee Lewis, that featured Louis Armstrong. Come on, really? I couldn't believe it when uh, I, I mean he he'd already passed, but Jack Clement, who was Jerry Lee Lewis's uh, producer, he wanted to, to build a horn section around uh, around Louis Armstrong, but I, nobody told me what we were going to be doing till I actually heard the, the heard it through the headphones and here's uh -huh. Louis Armstrong singing from from heaven I guess I'm not sure okay. where All right. it was great I mean I love me some Louis Armstrong um, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I used to get imitate him really good I can't do it as well now that I'm old but, I, <laughs> but, but but you know that grime that he had in his voice Oh yeah, yeah. I found my breeze. <laughs> I love this one. Okay. On blueberry hill. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the time. Okay. Well, I love blueberry hill with Fats <laughs> Domino. Yeah. Did I, did I, did I get a job? <laughs> yeah. Oh heck yeah. Uh -huh. Oh my. <laughs> Okay, let's watch another video. All righty. And then you can tell us about that one. Okay. Uh, and let's see what's <laughs> up next. Um, yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm from Poughkeepsie, New York, originally. From there, I moved to Lexington, Kentucky, to Brussels, Belgium, to West Germany, then West Berlin. Then I decided to come to Nashville. It's a strange way to get here, but it worked for me. My main instrument right now is saxophone. That's where my heart is right now. Probably will always be. One of the first gigs that I had, I worked with Diane Cheryl actually down at Captain's Table and with an artist by the name of Jim Purdy, who was working around the area at that time. Yeah. 
From there, I went on to work at the Stockyard restaurants. I was there from March of 86 till August of 95. I worked with Hank Williams Jr. in 91 for three months. Besides that, some of the people that I'm working with right now are T.G. Shepard on a regular basis in his horn section. I also work a lot with Wayne Jackson of the Memphis Horns. He's a great pal of mine, and I have a lot of respect for Wayne. As far as some of my earlier influences on saxophone, I guess the a, most uh, influential was Charlie Parker. And cable that he was best too well known for bebop. The way that he worked with melody is still something that I want to achieve. He was able to do it in a way that did leave the listener wondering where we at now. I think he was one of the people that that just it was just beautiful the way he interpreted melody. Uh, some of the other people, of course, David Sanborn, uh, Junior Walker, and the way that he approached pop music, Sonny Chris. There's so many good players out there, it's unbelievable. my driving force in music right now, at this very second, I would have to say melody. <laughs> melody for me has to be an integral part of the music or there's nothing there for me. A lot of music that I hear today, that's something that's being left out, and I'm trying to bring that back into the fold. I play a little bit of flute, dobro, bass guitar, clarinet and then I like to augment that with steel guitar pedal steel guitar with steel guitar I'm trying to bring that in very carefully demonstration on the pedal steel guitar. With one hand I'm picking the strings, with the other hand I'm pushing the bar. Of 
course that gives you the pedal steel guitar sound now if you look on the floor I've got pedal rods that are going down to foot pedals on the ground and if I push those I get different sounds from those I've also got knee levers under the guitar and I can use those in conjunction with each other to get different sounds I hope that gives you some insight on the steel guitar. It certainly is a fun instrument to play, but time to work again, so... When I'm on stage, that's just a magical feeling. I'm in a magical world, and I try to convey that to the audience through melody, through my instrument, through just actions and, and wow, that's <laughs> create the kind of atmosphere that will take your listener to a place that that listener wants to go. I think that's where most music, most of the successful music is right now. ongoing project for me right now is called Heinrich Maneuver and the driving force behind Heinrich Maneuver is melody, strictly melody and will always be melody. The concept for Heinrich Maneuver started back in the 80s when I was in Europe and I was in Brussels, Belgium and I was exposed to a lot of kind of pop music that they had going on over there. We heard a lot of hollow notes and, and stuff like that where they actually used a lot of saxophone. I wanted to stay with simple melodies, good melodies, and, yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. If you'd like to learn more about Heinrich Maneuver and about myself, uh, you can go to my personal website at www.johnheinrich, that's J-O-H-N, H-E-I-N-R-I-C-H dot net and you'll find a link on there to my MySpace website and then I have another separate MySpace for Heinrich Maneuver. My personal website, I've got a lot of nostalgic things on there, things that I've done before, my, one of my first groups, the Buffalo Bombers. Uh, I've got some of the things from uh, Hank Williams Jr. on that tour and a lot of pictures from when I played down at the stockyard. You'd find it very interesting. I guess one of the more interesting stories for me personally was when I was in Berlin and we played at what was called the Deutschlandhalle. We had won Marlboro's Best Country Band for Germany that year and we toured around Germany but we ended up in Berlin. But we came back the next day to uh, tear down and I heard this guy jump up on stage and he started playing flute. I knew who, immediately who it was. It was Ian Anderson from Jethro Tull. And that was kind of an exciting thing to meet him. I'd, he was just walking around playing his flute on the stage because they were getting ready to come on as we were moving off. I walked up to him and I said, are you Ian Anderson? And he said, yes, I am Ian Anderson. I am the flute player for Jethro Tull. <laughs>
Well, all right then. <laughs> that was big, <laughs> beautiful. I tell you, we learned a lot about you. That said everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it says that you have played steel guitar on projects that feature such artists as Merrill Haggard, George Jones, Glenn Campbell, and Crystal Gale, country western stars. And they loved you because. We have 518 chats that I can't see. I don't know where they're coming from. We are, we are broadcasting on 11 platforms, but I know they're not showing on on um, any of the ones that are, are linked to Facebook, but we are on other platforms and our, our YouTube would show. So some of them would be there. I just don't want to touch it, the chat box right now. So I'm using the banner part of the studio to put up here because at the end of the show I want to see what the total number of chats are but they could be coming from Trovo, Twitch, um, Rumble, um, God where else? Um, LinkedIn. LinkedIn, LinkedIn. Um, and other places. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember all of them because they are set automatically. Destinations are already preset in the studio. Okay so um the other thing is i want to check and see is this your correct website let me show this is that correct oh you are you're muted yeah, I'm muted okay he's, not, mute. he's still okay. muted try now uh you just muted yourself unmute unmute his, his on your unmute. phone on your phone hit your unmute button because you kept muting you kept unmuting yourself during the video and we could hear what you were saying now now you're not muted now can you talk okay we yeah, can't muted. no he's not can muted you your volume can you turn your volume up is your volume up is your volume up now you're frozen Ah, uh, no. Nah. So he's going to go, go out and come back in. Try going okay. out and come back in, okay? Oh, there All you right. go. Let's see if we right. can hear you, John. Can you hear it now? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You can't hear me? Yes. Yeah, good, good. yeah, we can hear you. Uh, okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> Is that your... Yeah, you kept uh, unmuting yourself during the video. So I want to tell you, and, you uh, and James, you do the same thing. Please do not mute yourself when the video is playing because the studio i mean do not unmute yourself when the video is playing because the studio automatically mutes you there's nothing oh, okay. wrong yeah there's nothing wrong with your end the studio automatically mutes you so that the video is not interrupted by sounds coming from the you know everybody that's in the studio Okay. Mm -hmm. so don't, James and John, both of you JJs, don't touch, <laughs> don't touch anything when your videos are playing. All right. <laughs> now, what I want to know is, is this your correct website? Uh, is that johnheinrich.com? No, dot net. You said in your video it was dot net. Uh, is it dot Oh, dot net, yeah. That's an old, that's old. Yeah. It's dot com now. I finally got my dot com back. <laughs> okay. Let me edit this right quick and put com. And okay. okay. Now, John, in the meantime, while she's fixing that, um, you also performed with the Everly Brothers, the Beach Boys. Um, uh, well, we mentioned Jerry Lee Lewis and Reba McIntyre, um, Lori Morgan and the Kentucky uh headhunters and steppenwolf that's just a few <laughs> wow yeah. Yeah. A, a lot of those people a lot of those people came down to stockyard uh they're here in nashville and and i got to, got to play with a lot of people there yeah mm -hmm. well right now we have 679 chats going on i don't know where they're coming from i can't wow. see them. let's take a couple of questions right now from uh james and tim and and Sybil. Let's start with Tim, your question for John. Oh, okay, John. Oh, man, you're so skilled all the way around. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, 
Is there any up and coming musicians that you like their style or you see that they have a gift for it? Oh, wow. I, I, I'm so encapsulated in, in what I'm doing with my, my recordings and stuff like that. I, I do a lot of recordings for other people. I'm yeah. trying to think, though. Uh, I'm trying to think. I, I, right off the top of my head, I can't. I don't there's no specific names that are coming to mind right now. Okay. okay. But I mean, I watched the CMAs and, and, uh, uh, there, uh, Chris Stapleton. I mean, he, he was, he, he was good. I mean, yeah. Uh, there's a couple of people that were on there that were really good. I thought, you know, okay. Country music awards. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Several. Yeah. Uh, is that a uh, Ronnie Millsap's photo on that screen? It sure is. Yep. <laughs> I thought so. Did you play sax for him or steel? Uh, well, actually, I play a more steel than I do sax. He did two songs that I could play on. Uh, one was uh, the Lost in the 50s, and the other one was uh, Honky Tonk Women. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Uh, I really, I used to live in Nashville, and uh, when I got to talk to uh, Ronnie Millsap, you know, he started out at the uh, King's motel king of the road or, yeah king, king of, road of the road motel anyway right. i introduced my name is uh sybil sunshine uh -huh. and uh every time we communicated he always uh called sybil sunshine and uh so i really enjoyed him too and i want to brag on you uh it was a great steal and and uh anything you play is amazing and there's Thank something you. about it <laughs> about the saxophone is just unbeatable you know it's mm -hmm. just it's yep. uh, amazing and i want to compliment you on your videos <laughs> they're uh top of the line they're uh well, thank you they're very yeah. crisp but they move around and and uh and then at the end uh it's uh refreshing to be able to read the credits and they don't fly by like a big old gray blur <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i really appreciate that I, I don't see the point and in, in just you know sliding by like a blur you can't read anybody but right. uh you, right. your uh videos are just top notch and uh you sure are a um interviewer's dream because you took care of the whole thing with your videos. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right. Oh, thank you. All thank right, you. James. James? Yeah. Oh, James. Uh -huh. You got a he question? Might be frozen. Is he frozen? James? Ziggler? Ziggy? He's hmm. frozen. But yeah. he should be able to talk. James? Okay. Well, while James is getting together, let's go. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah we, oh, there he is. we can hear you now. <laughs> I want to thank you, John, for teaching us a little bit about the steel guitar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. I okay. didn't know how it was played until you showed us. I didn't well, either, but we got okay. a video showing him playing it, too. Let me see uh -huh. if I can find it, okay? See, yeah, I'm okay. actually performing. Uh, let's see if I can. <laughs>
Wow, yeah. that was that was nice. me. That was that was me up there singing. I didn't know that was you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't I didn't know that was you at the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. awesome. So that was the BB King band, right? Well, that was at BB King's here in Nashville. That was the band that what we called the All Star Band in BB King's here in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. Great band. Great band. All right then. And also, um, there was um a note there that said you played um in the Long Wolf Tour Tenor Al Soprano Sags. Yep. Uh, on a tape segment for the NFL Monday Night Football National TV spot. What year was that? That was ninety two. All right. <laughs> but the thing about that was uh the clip that where, where I was in was so quick. I just it, it was so quick on on the TV that uh -huh. I knew that was me. But it was well, like nobody else knows. <laughs> right. Well, somebody knows you because right now we got one thousand and forty two chats going on. So wow. <laughs> There's something to think I'm fired, John. Hey, hey, uh, Emily. <laughs> can Emily, can can Emily it says what. Well, Listen, okay. Wait a minute, hold on. Can y'all okay. see the number of checks? Yeah, but it's me? bigger. It's bigger yeah. than that. Y'all can see the 1,042. No, I got it. It's I more see. than that. Oh, how many is it? 1,500. Oh, okay. So, seven. Hey, All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. John, you're going to break our machine. <laughs> he might. Well, let's go ahead and get this last video in before it's time for us to go, okay? Okay. All right, let's see. No, that's not it. Okay, hold on. Here it is. Hey, my name is Ronnie Dean, and we're here on Nashville Side Street set. And this week, our guest is John Heinrich. Now, we're pre recording this live for you to listen to it and, and he had some background tapes that he brought in with him that he's playing against but he's an extraordinary musician he plays horns as well as steel guitar as well as bass as well as some guitar and other instruments he's just a multi-instrumental person anyway again john heimrich is his name and we'll be featuring him this week <laughs>
To my right over here is John Heinrich. John Heinrich and myself, we met a long time ago. Actually, did we meet on the show or did we meet before that? I think it might have been the show. If, if I'd met you before that, I'd, it's possible, but I think we met on the show. The, there was a show called the Nashville Gospel, Nashville Gospel Music Showcase by <laughs> Don Frost. Don Frost ran the show and, and we did this, I, what, for a couple of years anyway, at least. Yeah. Yep. And I, mm-hmm. I met and played with John. We pantomimed most everything we did on that show, which was kind of cool. But I met a lot of good people. And uh, I actually did my own video on there, if you remember that. Yep, I remember uh, that. Yeah, you actually played on that. Uh-huh. Tell everybody who you play with, John. I mean, just right now. Well, right now I'm playing with Ronnie Millsap. I have played with Hank Jr. And I lived through that. <laughs> <laughs> and I played with quite a, quite a few other people Razzie Bailey, uh, Donna oh, Fargo yeah. You did people. play with Razzie Bailey, huh? Yeah, mm-hmm. T. Graham Brown uh, He's been playing sessions most of his career here in Nashville He plays, as you would see through this show He plays horns as well as dobro As well as what? Bass, guitar Bass, guitar, well, that was my first instrument Yeah, uh, clarinet, uh, flute Um Oh, I'm working on oboe right now. I love oboe. Um, and, of course, I have all the saxophones, the barry, the tenor, the alto, and the soprano. So who tweaks all your instruments for you? I mean, as far as your horns. I've got a couple different people. David Dyer does a lot of it, and Al Markham does some of it. Yeah, you know, one of the things about playing multi-instruments is that it's hard to keep them tweaked. All right, we're going to stop it right there and uh, so we can get in our closing remarks. And let's give a round of applause for oh, that. It was so smooth. Holy That's crap, John. You're going to break our machine. I can't even read the number no more. I can't. How many 16, is it? 1658. 1658. Wow. That's I'm awesome. I'm okay. in the 200s. Uh, well, see, I didn't want to touch it because I'm showing 1373, but that's because I had I had touched it in it and I lost some of them. But um, I can't I even see it anymore. It's so so many. Yeah. It's all so, 1820 or 31 now. Uh, okay, so I'm going to take this hat, this right here, so it can say, yeah, yeah, play. wait a minute, I, there's a new one, a new post, where is it? I, I'm trying to put up there with everybody that you play with. I thought I put that in there, in the, um, yeah, I think this is it. There you go, you play with uh, Stargard, Bullpen, Bullpen, Pen Lounge, but anyway, Beach Boys, Reba McIntyre, Martin Moore, Everly Brothers, and it didn't get all the rest of it in because there's so many more. But Steppenwolf and the Fat Boys, I remember them. Sylvia, Vince Gill, I know some Vince Gill. Who happened? Who, who lost somebody? Who Shania lost? Twain. Shania Twain, um, a lot of different people. Let's see. Travis Tritt. Um, let's see. Toby Keith. Many others, yeah. The Beach Boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we lost Sybil, so she'll be back in. All right, then, let me take this down, and uh, we're going to start our comments. Uh, another round of applause, audience, because I know y'all enjoyed that. <laughs> and uh, we uh, probably got the kids are saying, we have a family show, and the kids are in, so the kids got to get there, man. All right, kids enjoy music too. I'm trying to bring them with uh, somebody keep popping out of the studio. We lost Tim. We had lost Sybil. Sybil's back. 
All right, so uh, James, let's start with you with your closing comment and thank you to Je uh, John. John, thank you so much for teaching us the steel guitar. And there's got to be a name because all musicians name their instruments. So let us know the name. Uh, you mute uh -oh. yourself. You, John, you muted yourself again somehow. John, you're muted again. On your end, you muted on your end. Not in the studio. Your mic is on in the studio, but not on your end. Okay, he's going out and coming back in, I guess. Uh, yeah, he'll probably come back in. And Tim, we lost Tim. There must be some internet trouble going on. No, no can't hear you. Still can't hear you. Okay. Can you hear me, John? Okay, Tim is back. <laughs> He can hear. He can hear yeah. us, but we can't hear you. Tim is back. I'm okay. back. <laughs> well, uh, while uh, John tried to get I his. I told you you were going to break it, John. Try nice try job. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, your, your closing comments, and thank you to John. Oh, yeah. Wow, man, John. I really appreciate you coming by, man, and, and sharing your life experiences with us. Uh, we hope you come back again, and thanks so much, man. All right, I'm gonna save Sybil for last so she can give us the actual count. Kathy, your thanks. I don't see it now. You don't? Well, okay, well, I'm gonna save Kathy for last. Sybil, your thanks to John. Well, John, I'm your new fan. And uh, this was an amazing show. I believe this is the most chats we've ever had, right, Emily? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know? Uh, yeah. You're going to have to come back on. So and, you, uh, Yeah, that means that you're really, really famous, John. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thank you uh, for being on the world-famous Emily Pro show. And, and, uh, Uh-oh. Uh -oh. All right. How's she doing? So, okay, I can give you, let, let me I give can you, give you a count. Okay, mm -hmm. what's the count? What's the count? And then I'll give him my thanks, and I'll let you be the last one. No, you 18, go ahead and give 18, your thanks. 1,801. 1801. Okay, Kathy, your thanks. All right. Well, John, thanks so much. I know I got to interview Ronnie Millsap and you you helped to arrange that. So uh, I appreciate that. You know, that was prior to COVID. And so I got to see everything and even be near the bus, tour bus. So that was so cool. And um, yeah, and, I, and I, I could share it with everyone, the, rate, the YouTube link of the radio show with um, Ronnie Millsap. But in the meantime, um, John is also performing weekly, I guess, at a dinner dinner theater, he said. So, uh, yeah, do you, does anyone remember what the name of it was, James? Do you remember? No, I don't. Um, we were talking, yeah. but yeah, okay. he's playing. Well, I don't we know. Can, it's a dinner can, theater. We so. can get that later. Oh, we'll put it. You can, later. Put, right. you, can, you can type it in the chat on the replay. So, yeah, and yeah, he also said the Metro, the Metro, he plays at the Metro, off, I don't know if okay. that's it. Yeah. Well, we thank you so very much. And uh, John, I tell you, you broke the machine tonight, just like uh, James <laughs> said you would. <laughs> and I know we- Tell Ronnie you still loved. I know we yeah, can't have- Yeah, send our love to Ronnie, for sure. Ronnie, mess yeah. up. Tell Sybil Sunshine said hello. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm happy to see Carlson. <laughs> <laughs> and I know I know you cannot and we cannot hear you now, but I hope you had a good time on the show. Uh, no, you no, did. I did. Okay, you did. all right. We did. We did. Okay, great. And John, you're cordially invited on December first for uh, Emily. Go ahead and tell them. December our 1st. special guest, our guest, Danny. Oh, okay. Well, we're keeping that separate, though. Yeah, okay. Danny. So yeah, we're and, gonna uh, do is we go. gonna give we're gonna give you a big round of applause. All right, the audience, give you a big round of applause. Thank you, audience. And then we're gonna close with your video of you playing that steel guitar. <laughs> Say good night, everybody. Night. Love y'all. Thank y'all so much for joining us tonight. Thank you, Ronnie Millsite. We love you.